wanna be starting something. You got to be starting something. Said you wanna be starting something. You got to be starting something. I'm Emily Matko, and I was at Flanagan Cornell High School as their biology student teacher. I'm Kelsey Soros. Um, I did my student teaching at Leroy High School, and my content area is business education. My name is Colby Brunner. I was at Hayworth High School, and I taught business. I'm Maria. I've been teaching at Hayworth High School in math. Hi, Colleen Osier. Um, I taught at Gibson City, Melvin Sibley, and I majored in mathematics education. Hi, my name is Clarissa Burkhart, and I was a PDS intern at Tri Valley High School in the math department. Uh, my name is Angelique. I'm at Tri Valley, and I do teach English. Sarah Harper. I am at Hayworth Junior Senior High School in English. Hi, my name is Hannah Blasco, and I am from Leroy High School. And I teach English. <laughs> my name is Kelly Bandini, and I taught Family and Consumer Sciences at El Paso Goodley High School. My name is John Nelson, Tar Valley English teacher. Angelique is my PS student. PDS program at ISU, I feel, is a good opportunity for students to get out there, um, experience the school instead of through a textbook, being there for the year, experiencing all the things on a daily basis that you would see in a school setting. So I think it's a great opportunity for students at ISU. Hi, this is Jody Jones. I'm Blaney High School. Um, Emily Matko was with me this year, and she was, we were doing biology classes. Great way to prepare you for this wonderful teaching career that you will have for the rest of your life. Work hard, you can do it. So my name is Todd Schneider. I'm the math teacher at Tri Valley High School, and I work with Clarissa, Clarissa Burkhart from ISU. All right, I've worked with several student teachers at Tri Valley, and with this PDS program, uh, this year has been my best experience, and I really like the fact that they begin at the, the very start of the year and they develop a, a good rapport with the students from the beginning and they are full time. And the other thing I really like is it just really seems like we have the cream of the crop when we do this because I think it's rigorous to get into the program. So I, I like everything I've seen about it so far. My biggest piece of advice for new interns is spend as much time as possible at your school. The way PDS is set up, um, you're there in the morning, so for like two periods, and then you go to class um, with the other interns on Mondays and Wednesdays, that's what it was for us. If you can, see if you can schedule your classes so like all of your classes are on Mondays and Wednesdays, so they're still on the same day, but later, so that then on your days off, you can still spend like two extra full days at your school. So that you get to know all of the students that are just the first one, like the first two classes that you see more often. A piece of advice that I have for PDS students is that students will believe anything you say as long as you say it with enough confidence. My biggest piece of advice to any new professional development school interns would be to definitely get to know um, all of the other teachers in the building. Um, I was definitely kind of freaked out. My mentor and I um, are completely opposite types of people, so I actually got to know one of the other teachers in the building that did a lot of mentoring um, and that type of thing for me. While I learned a lot from my team, um, I actually learned even more from the other people in the building. So don't be afraid to venture out and get to know the people, um, the other people that work within the school district. My best piece of advice is to just not let the bad days get you down because I guarantee there's going to be days that aren't perfect but there's nothing you can do to prevent them, so just roll with it and move on and make the next day a better day. My biggest piece of advice for interns next year is to remember to take time for yourself. It's really easy to get really caught up in student teaching and lesson planning and grading, and after a while, even if you don't have specific things to do, all you can think about after a while is just teaching. So remember to take time for yourself. Um, go out with your friends, um, go to dinner with people, um, just remember to take some time for yourself so that you're not spending all of your time on student teaching because it is still your last year of college. You should, should still enjoy it. Um, one of the things that I think 
incoming student teachers should know that I wish that I kind of had is that their experience is very much so dependent on the student teacher. You know, walking in, you kind of have this idea, you know, this perfect picture of what things are going to be like, and oftentimes your cooperating teacher's teaching style is different from your own, and it's different than a lot of the theory that you come into contact with at school. And what's going to make you a successful student teacher is just being able to kind of hit the ground and roll with whatever's thrown at you. Um, if you don't necessarily get along with everyone that you work with, it's going to say a whole lot more if you are just, you know, confident and friendly and try to make the best of the situation versus if you, try, you know, you try to dwell on things. Um, so just, as I said before, remain confident and you'll do well. The biggest piece of advice for new interns is to get involved as soon as they can. Um, to get involved going to football games, basketball games, student plays, anything that you can do to really show your students that you're excited um, will help them be more excited and to accept you. It will make your transition into the classroom a lot easier. Okay, so another piece of advice or something that I wish I had known when I started the PDS program um, is for the Friday focus meeting that we have second semester, um, you actually you have to go to those, and they're really good topics with a lot of really good information that when you you can relate to and reference when you're having interviews with people, and when you throw things out, they're like, oh, I know about Common Core standards, I know about RTI, and that kind of thing. Um, that's pretty impressive to them that you already know that kind of stuff because. All of it is so new. A lot of time when they have teacher institute days, they're working on catching up their teachers with that information right now. So if you already have that information, it's like one less thing they have to worry about with you. And it shows that you have a good base of knowledge already before you even actually like hire a teacher at a school. So that's pretty impressive to them. Um, My biggest piece of advice is to get involved in your school more than just in the classroom. Like go to the football games, go to basketball games because the students really enjoy seeing you at those events and it shows that you're a dedicated teacher. The biggest thing I learned this year was, and that I strongly advise you all to do, is try and make connections with the students. Build those relationships, go to school functions, let them see your face, let them see you as a real person, and it will help you in the long run. One piece of advice would, would be just just be open to do anything and everything. So if you get a chance to go to some extracurricular stuff like coach or just go to a ball game, just make sure you're going to that stuff. You got to see the students outside of the classroom because they're really a lot of fun. They can learn more about you too. If I have to give you some advice and tell you to take some time for yourself. In the beginning, I was stressing out way too hard, and now I have nothing to do at all and I'm bored, I wish I would have spread out the stress a little bit. I'd say one advice I'd have is um, on classroom management, that will really be your biggest issue. It won't be about content because you'll know a lot more than the kids do. So it'll be just don't take things personally because those kids are just acting the best that they can. And so don't take it personally and just kind of shrug it off and the next day start all over from square one. Don't hold any, anything against them because it's just being kids. The opportunity to stay connected with your PDS community. A lot of us kind of skipped out on that component and it's really unfortunate that we didn't take advantage of it. So I'd say just stay connected. Stay connected with your um, content and the whole group as a well. whole. My most, or I guess my biggest advice for you guys is get a very big binder and keep every single lesson plan that you make, and you will use it in your first year of teaching. Keep everything. <laughs> Another piece of advice I would have is when you start student teaching in the fall, really make sure that you're professional with everyone around you. Be professional with your students, professional with your cooperating teacher, professional with the other teachers, the other interns. Um, and if you're more, if your cooperating teacher respects you and you're very professional and you really want to communicate with your cooperating teacher about everything that you're going to do. So everything that you, <laughs> don't stop, don't stop. <laughs> everything that you come up with that you're going to teach, talk about it with your cooperating teacher and really communicate with him. And then as the semester comes closer to the end, like <laughs> the second semester, 
they'll know that you can handle teaching and you're good. <laughs> and they'll know that you can plan and you're a uh, trustworthy and responsible teacher and they'll give you more leeway to let you do whatever you want and they won't need to check all your lesson plans. And a lot of times my CT isn't even in the room when I teach anymore. So just really be on top of it from the beginning and they'll give you more leeway to do whatever you want as the year goes on. advice for yeah, interns totally. coming in um, be to be prepared but also to try to make as comfortable as you possibly can and try to have a sense of humor about things you're working with high school students and so to be a little laid back and try to get to know them as people is not necessarily a bad thing so just keep that in mind and be as confident as you possibly can be that was good my biggest piece of advice for you new interns is to drink a lot of coffee, have a lot of sticky notes, keep up with the grade book, always remember to put in the other assignments, be consistent with things, pointing at the camera, things like tardies, if you're going to do them, keep doing them, and discipline. You got to lay it down right from the beginning or else they'll eat you alive because they're, especially the seniors. And try to sleep. It might not happen, but you can try. I did. A little bit. <laughs>
because they will swear and use inappropriate language in front of you to see like if you're going to stop them from doing it. Um, sometimes it's an accident, like one time a couple of my students were talking and I was kind of walking around the room seeing how they were doing and um, all of a sudden one of them just really loud said, I'm not going to go have sex, like super loud and everybody in the room heard him. And I was standing right behind him when he said it, and then he turned around and saw me. Um, luckily, he was embarrassed. He just kind of like pulled his hood over his head and stayed like that for the rest of the class. And then any time people brought it up later, uh, he would get very red and hide his head in his hood again. Um, and some of your students will be rude to you, and they will swear at you. One of my students a little while ago called me Miss Bitch, and he was suspended for the weekend for that Friday and he was back on Monday. Um, so another good thing, make sure you know the principal that you work with and you have a good relationship with them because I was comfortable with the principal at my school. I was able to go and tell him, like, hey, one of the students just called me this. And he was very comforting right away. He was like, did he really? That's a suspension. Like, that's an out-of-school suspension. No questions asked, basically. So that was really comforting for me, too, to know that, like, I had his support and Stuff, so. Get to know the other teachers and definitely get to know the principal and definitely the janitor staff. Because often they're pretty cool people and if you need something, they can get it for you. I love PDS. I love PDS. I love PDS. PDS is the best. I love PDS. PDS rocks my socks. PDS is my jam. I love PDS. <laughs> I love PDS. Good job. Go team. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I have to start from the beginning, don't I? I hate that. Okay, sorry, do it again. Or should I just go? Another piece of advice I would have is right away when you start student teaching in the fall. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> My name is Kelly Zambini. I'm going to be so bad at this. And I taught teach family and consumer sciences. <laughs> and the best thing that you can do as a student teacher is to walk in and be confident and not afraid that, you know, you, uh, can I start over? <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to have to think again. <laughs> Give me one second. And they'll know that you can play in and you're a uh, trustworthy and responsible teacher. A little bit. <laughs> Just turn it off. <laughs>